Hi, in this video I'll explain the working of a manometer, an instrument used to find the pressure of a gas in a closed chamber. In this image we have a closed chamber on the left hand side uh, as you can see and uh, there is a tube from the chamber that leads to a uh, U-tube and it's called a U-tube because it's shaped like a U and it's got mercury on both the arms of that tube. Initially let's keep the gas at atmospheric pressure just to check out this instrument. The right hand arm of the U-tube is open at the top. That means that the air is free to act on top of the mercury column on the right hand side. So the air is pressing down on the right hand side mercury and on the left hand side mercury the gas is pressing down on it and the gas is at atmospheric pressure so the red arrow is the outside air atmospheric pressure and the blue arrow is the gas pressure and since both are now same the height of the mercury is same in the YouTube on both the arms. That's all there is to the working of a YouTube manometer. Now if we create a pressure on the left hand side by increasing gas pressure we will see that it depresses the mercury on the left hand side. This is what we have done now. So create a pressure and the mercury on the left hand side dips to a point A and accordingly the mercury on the right hand side of the YouTube increases to a point C. Now as per the principle of hydrostatics the pressure at point A and the pressure at point B which is at the same level would be the same. So the gas pressure is what need, we need to find out in this manometer. So the simpler way to find out is what's the pressure at point B and that pressure is equal to the pressure due to the height of the mercury above B that means B to C plus the pressure of atmosphere which is acting on top of the mercury at point C. Now since we are talking of pressure we have to calculate force by area when it comes to the mercury column and force of mercury column is basically the weight and weight is mg or mass into gravity. Let's look at the equation and make it simple. So we, the pressure of gas as we said is the pressure of atmosphere on top of the mercury column this P atmosphere plus something and that something is the pressure due to the weight of the mercury column. Weight is m into g and mass is equal to density into volume. Volume is equal to area of cross section of the tube into height and that height is height h which we showed in the previous image. So when you divide this weight by area, the area cancels on numerator and denominator and you will be left with density rho into height h into gravity g. That's how you get this equation gas pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus rho hg. I hope this video was useful to you.